my aspiration is to bring you guys the first ever backpacking trip ever done on an electric snowboard. So far as I know, that has never been done, like ever. Of all the electric snowboard projects that I see out there, they're all either really super expensive, really complex to build, or just way too large and bulky. So I decided to Tony Stark one out of a $15 board I found at the thrift store, some 3D printed parts, and an e-bike hub motor. And it works. It took a lot of tweaking to get it to this point, and there's still a lot of room for improvement. So what I did is I redesigned the motor mount arms to seat it two inches lower, so that should bite right into the ground. Right now, this thing only works in a very specific set of conditions with the snow. It has to be super dense, but not quite frozen. It also works on a very thin layer of powder with dense ground underneath. <laughs> I managed to get all the way over there. It ain't much, but it's a start. <laughs> a little bit messy. I built an electric snowboard out of 3D printed parts and an e-bike hub board, and it works. Of course, as soon as it got to the dirt, it couldn't uh, get enough traction to push me forward, but that's, that's expected. <laughs> nice. So now the issue is just snow buildup in here. It's causing too much resistance on the wheel and it can't actually move now. Still, Relatively minor problem in the grand scheme of things compared to, you know, actually getting it to function in the first place. <laughs> I'm so happy this thing's worked, man. Gone through two motors, so much ABS printing these damn arms and all the other components on it. So it's pretty gummed up in here. It's like perfectly solid snow in here. I can't dig it out with my fingers. It's just accumulated so much. I'll let this thing dry out and have all this melt and then we'll uh, get right back to it tomorrow. All right, we're back at it, day two. And it's a good thing I waited a second day because it is uh, nice and cold today, which means the snow isn't packing snow like it was yesterday. So this will be a different type of test. It's not the fastest thing in existence, but it works. Snow also loves to quickly build up on the traction pads, quickly making it slippery and hard to maintain a stance on the board. Combined with the fact that it makes steering super hard, I'm finally looking at just switching back to bindings. Yeah, as soon as it gets into the softer powder, it doesn't want to bite, which is expected. The motor itself that I picked for this build is pretty underpowered. Not a lot of torque, it's only a 500 watt. So from a standstill, especially if it's worked itself into a bit of a rut, you have to give it a rocking start to get it that first bit of momentum before the motor can actually kick in and do its thing. And once it is moving, the top speed isn't that high since it's an e-bike motor meant for a much larger wheel. The uh, wheel split off. Uh, I guess uh, the 3D printed uh, parts on the wheel aren't uh, pulling up. I'll have to try a different material with better layer bonding.
I'm actually super impressed with this thing. It's janky and needs more tweaking, but at the end of the day, I friggin' did it. I made a working electric snowboard using 3D printed parts and off-the-shelf hardware. <laughs>